Kyle Klingman with Track Wrestling going to California. Gracie Figueroa, 2019 WCWA champion, cadet world bronze medalist, and just won the junior nationals. How are you, Gracie? Hi, I'm doing great right now. <laughs> What's it been like with the, the lockdown? Of course, California, for those who don't know, you go to Menlo, but season got canceled. What are you going to do? Um, as of right now, I'm just trying to find training spot. I might go to Arizona and start training there for a while. And that's all I know as far as what I can do. So go out to Sunkist and go to Tempe? Yeah. Okay. And of course, your, your brother, Richie, is going to Arizona State. You plan on maybe going out there with him and, and kind of training alongside him? Yeah, that's the plan. What's that like growing up with uh, a brother, having the brother-sister tandem? You guys have been so successful. You were undefeated, four-time state champion in California. What was that like having him alongside you? Um, it was pretty great. He was, like, my biggest fan. Like, I always, like, heard him saying, like, Gracie, don't do that. Like, come on. And, like, in the state finals, it was just a great experience. I mean, like, we always, like, battled, like, tournaments. Oh, you won that. Okay, I'm going to win this one. And it was just, like, going back and forth. And then you're a little bit older than he is. So did you have some times where you kind of took it to him in practice? Oh, yeah. We wrestled uh, – yeah, we were practice partners when I was in high school, and, like, we went back and forth, but I would usually win just because I'm bigger than him. When did he start getting the best of you? Or if he did, maybe you're getting the best of him still. I mean, we still go back and forth, but I don't want to tell him this, but he's getting a little bit better, and he does, like, best me sometimes with his slick moves. But I still have, like, I think that, like, bigger sister – mode where he like respects me and he's just like kind of like fears a little bit uh, other than that like he does get me like in his little um those little um low singles or whatever what do you hit him with uh, i hit him with my ankle picks <laughs> and he still falls for my him. ankle picks and, uh, yeah <laughs> all the time <laughs> Well, when I think of you, I just think of the the great performances at Fargo, five-time Fargo champion. You, you must have just thrived in that environment and enjoyed being there. I mean, it was really hot over there. That's the only thing I didn't like. Um, but, yeah, I just – when I wrestled at Fargo, I just wrestled, like, free, freely. Like, sometimes I didn't even know what I did, like, after the matches. And I was just always zoned in. And, like, I did some moves where I just couldn't be, like, I look back and I'm just like, damn, like, how did I do that? Like, I don't even know. I don't even, I'm not going to try it because so, I don't want to hurt myself. I think it just happens, like, freely when I'm wrestling and I just don't think about it. What was it you liked about Menlo? It's, uh, it's been just a powerhouse college program. What uh, tipped the scales for you to go there? I mean, um, it was a decision, both um, me and Aleda Martinez, uh, my partner, that we've been, like, from youth, youth all the way to college. We both made the decision that we wanted to go there. I think that was a factor because I think we just wanted to stay closer together. Tell us about that. Aleda Martinez is also a, a great wrestler, too. What's it like having her to have there to, to keep you sharp? It's, it's great. Like, we've been partners. She always makes me, like, think, like, um, about the moves I'm going to do because she's a very technical wrestler and she's very good. So it's always great having her around. And she just helps me, like, with the stress sometimes that, like, it comes with wrestling. And so she just helps me a lot with that. And it's, it's great having her around and traveling together. You recently won the Junior National Tournament. How did you stay in shape going into that? Or were you in shape? What was that like competing in that tournament? Um, I mean, it was really tough coming uh, from a seven month, um, no competing. So I really had to push my body. Like I was doing three days. I did not take no breaks. And I just had to put my body through hell because I knew it's gonna be, it was gonna be difficult wrestling in that tournament and there's there was really good girls there that pushed me to like um my abilities 
and I'm thankful for that. So it showed me what I needed to start improving on. But also too, I just had, I just went out there and had fun. Cause I mean, that's all you can do right now. Just have fun with the process. So now that it is locked down, so Menlo can't have a season, how do you stay in shape? What's your outlet to be able to get in competition shape going forward? Um, as of right now, I pretty much have a mat here at my house, and then I have a treadmill. I have some weights. Not a whole lot, but it's just something that kind of can help me still. And I have my brother here, so I have a practice partner. But as of right now, that's pretty much it to stay in shape since we're in lockdown. In addition to your stellar wrestling career in high school, you also played volleyball. Do you feel like that helps you with your wrestling at all? Uh, yeah, I, I, I think so a little bit. Just like kind of like being aware because like in volleyball, you had to be like aware of your surroundings and like where the ball was going to drop and just having that quick motion. But yeah, I really did enjoy playing volleyball. Isn't volleyball a cool sport, though, that every serve is going to be a score? I think that's a, a great concept. No, yeah. And with me, it was really hard, like, being with, like, a team because with wrestling, it's really individual. And, like, if you make a mistake or whatever, it's on you. So I had to learn a little bit, like, it's a team and everything and not to yell at the girls too much <laughs> if, like, one of them made a mistake. Because I like winning, I hate losing, and that's what something I had to learn. Well, if you like winning, you won the Female Athlete of the Year for all of California, and if you look at the list of other winners, it's pretty impressive. What was it like winning such a big honor? Um, well, at first, I didn't really know, like, because sometimes I don't know when I won, like, awards or whatever it's usually mo my mom that t like tells me and she told me I won that I was like I'm like no I didn't I'm like I didn't win that like seriously I went out of all of California I'm like I know there's pretty good athlete women athletes and stuff so I was just really shocked and I was honored to be known as like a great female athlete in California tell us about your job you're doing right now you've been kind of helping at Stanford with some athletic setup and tell us about that job and what you're doing Oh, okay. So um, I'm a sports manager at Stanford. So I help deal with all like the setting up for the sporting events and like the breakdowns and helping in between like um, the sporting events with like if there's any like thing like the coach needs. And it, I just love being around sports. Like I'm really grateful for that opportunity of finding this amazing job. And this is my first job. So it was it's a pretty great job. And like, just being with sports, just, it was a done deal. I was like, yeah, I want this job. I need this job. Is that what you want to do going forward? Some type of sports management? Yeah, that's what my degree currently is, sports management. Um, yeah, I can either do that, be an um, athletic director, or maybe even one day um, a head coach for the women's D1 program. What do you like about Joey Barang and the, the Menlo program? You guys, as we said, have a great team, but tell us about the chemistry and what it's like to be part of that program. Um, what I love is they make it fun. Like they try to not make it like so serious because they already know like the pressure, like it is to wrestle as an athlete. So they just try to make it fun and just have us come as like a family and that's how um, Salmon was to me. It was a big family. That's what I liked about it. And mostly all the girls just like, we're just goofballs. And I just love that. And then, of course, the you have this season that got canceled, but the NAIA championships it was going to be the, the first time it was a standalone event that got canceled earlier this year. When that happened, you got the news. What did that feel like? I mean, it kind of hurt a little bit and like, college really helped me like stay in shape for like the like for nationals and getting ready for those big tournaments so that kind of like kind of bummed me out and also too like I won't be competing with like my team and just like trying to win another national another like national um, championship for my team too. Stanford is really close to Menlo but you have your job there but how often do you interact with other college athletes at Stanford? 
Um, usually when I go to the practices, I usually, um, I try to go after season, like during freestyle um, over there. I know Jaden and Real Woods, those are two really good athletes that I know. When you think about what you want to do next, we talk about maybe just the, the athletic administration, what your, your major is. How do you feel like the job we talked about at Stanford is preparing you for that? I mean, it's just making me understand like what goes on to like setting up a whole event and like the structure, like, um, cause this is my uh, first job. So it's like showing me how to be more responsible and pretty much grow up a lot faster. Do you and Richie hang out quite a bit? Yeah, um, we do. He always just comes barges in my room, just like, hey, what are you doing? And just sometimes comes and lays with me or just messes with me. And we try to go like, well, now we can't really go places, but we usually try to go out to eat and stuff just to hang out. Speaking of going out to eat, I hear you like pizza a lot. What's your favorite pizza? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> That's my one. Uh, biggest flaws, pizza. I try to stay away for it, especially when I'm cutting weight, but sometimes I break. <laughs> What's your go-to kind though? Like, do you have one that you really like? Um, like the place I like or like just the pizza? Yeah, let's go both. I want place and the kind of pizza. All right. Um, well, I like staying basic and I just love pepperoni pizza. And my favorite place is this, um, it's called Pizza Factory. It's in um, this small town called Fowler where my uh, mom's family, they're all from. So it's just little pizza place and I just love it so much. I've been eating it since I was a little kid and I still eat it today and I just love it. You've been on five age level world teams. What's that like traveling the world and having that experience at such a young age? Honestly, I was really blessed to have that experience. I never thought like in my life, like when I was younger that I was gonna be traveling the world, seeing like all these new places. I didn't know wrestling could take me this far, but thankfully I had coaches, mentors telling me you can go far with this. And I got to experience a lot at a young age.